Hello friends, let us now see the sulci and gyri which lie on the inferior surface of the cerebral hemisphere. Now what we have here is the inferior surface of the right cerebral hemisphere which we can see is divided into a small anterior part known as the orbital part and a large posterior part which is the tentorial part. Now in the orbital part what we see here is the olfactory bulb and the olfactory tract. Just when we see deep to it we see the sulcus which is the olfactory sulcus and just medial to it lies a straight running small gyrus which is called as the gyrus rectus. When we see on the remaining orbital surface we see an irregular shaped or an H shaped letter H shaped sulcus called as orbital sulcus and that divides this area into four small gyri which are orbital gyri named as anterior orbital gyrus, posterior orbital gyrus, medial orbital gyrus and the lateral orbital gyrus. So these are the sulci and gyri seen on the orbital part of the inferior surface of the cerebral hemisphere. Now let us see the sulci and gyri on the tentorial surface. Now if you realize that this tentorial surface is sloping, so it can be seen from the inferior surface as well as from the medial surface. What sulci and gyri do we see here? We see this hook like process of the temporal lobe, the uncus and related to it we see the rhinal sulcus anteriorly and posteriorly we see the collateral sulcus. Medial to it this entire gyrus is the parahippocampal gyrus. More laterally we see a sulcus which runs from the occipital pole to the temporal pole and that is the occipitotemporal sulcus. Medially we have the medial occipitotemporal gyrus and laterally is the lateral occipitotemporal gyrus. So these are the sulci and gyri seen on the tentorial part of the inferior surface of the cerebral hemisphere. Thank you.